Good morning traders. So we're still using the Bill Williams theory and uh, looking at the Aussie South African top 40. Now we've had another green day on Aussie and uh, you do see we have got a daily gap just above us here. Let's put these levels in. So this um, previous top beneath the gap is obviously a pretty important area so you would expect some kind of action on that and we'll look at the lower time frames to see what's going on there and then obviously we have the gap up there so this is a fairly um, fairly strong level that we're coming up to and also if you draw the channel lines and you can see we are trading in a, a bull channel at the moment okay so a couple of things and the first thing is obviously you would expect some kind of action to happen soon and whether that is a move to the downside or whether it is a breakup <clears throat> is undetermined at the moment but you know, the, my bias is for a some kind of a correction or more sideways action so um, the oscillator here is also grouped to the upside so we are tremendously over, overbought at the moment okay so uh, before we get to the lower time frames, on the weekly you can see we have got a nice green pin bar off the 200 moving average, but the oscillator here is extremely overbought and we have diversions. So there's the high, the next high, and if you see the oscillator we've got a high and a higher high. So it's high, lower high, high, higher high. That is continuation diversions, in other words we're expecting another move to the downside. Okay, so what we can also do is just pick up the next level, which would be around there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five touches. Basically flirted with it here as well. Anyway, so those are the that's the the area that we're looking at for a reversal so and uh, not to say that it's a reversal that's going to move all the way back down to the bottom but uh, definitely is potential for it to move to the bottom of the channel or even to come and test the the four hour um, alligator break so that would uh, ease the pressure a bit okay so we've got a gap just above us we've got a big gap to the downside We've got one, uh, two, three gaps to the downside. And I think this gap down here is also open. Yeah, to this downside. So there's, there's one, uh, two, no, not that one, two. So there's three gaps. So it's one, two, and three. One, two, three, four gaps, sorry. So we've got four gaps to the downside and uh, one to the upside. So I would expect us to pull back soon. Okay, something is brewing. We are going to have some kind of a, a consolidation. So it's either going to be a pullback, just a gentle pullback or sideways motion just to allow us to get, get our breath and then continue with the rally. That's kind of the view that I have at the moment. Um, if we look at it from a hourly perspective, You can see yesterday started off pretty much uh, all over the place. Okay, if you try to trade the open range, you would have been stopped out, same as the day before. And uh, it seems to be this little bit of consolidation for the first couple of hours, and then we rally. Okay, but I mean, you can see what I mean by the oscillator. As soon as the oscillator is dipping away, the trend is up, oscillator comes down. That's an opportunity to get long get in long and away it goes okay so I'm kind of um, in two minds here it is either let's tidy that up so we're either going to bounce off this level okay which is a fairly strong level or we're going to rally up to the gap and then bounce off that gap close so that's kind of what I'm looking for. If you are sitting long, um, that's your, your target area for me. 
Um, but I think I'm not even going to bother with this today. I'll rather look at something else. Because this can sort of just meander up slowly and then have a violent move down, or it can just keep meandering up uh, today, uh, today and uh, on Monday. I think I'll start looking at this again on Monday. Okay, so this level that we're at at the moment is is pretty strong. Okay, normally you would expect some kind of um, bounce off this, even if it's you know, a couple bars or just a few points, just a bounce off and then an opportunity to get back in long. So that's kind of the way that I'd be looking for this is to see if we can get a little bit of a bounce to the downside and then back in long. Okay. Um, I want to check on the lower time frame just to see. You can see we had a couldn't even bounce off a level. We created our own level by the looks of things. Uh, we missed this inside tail. Uh, there is an inside tail that we bounced off there. And not, nothing concrete, so. Oh yeah, so I would expect uh, some kind of a bounce to the downside and then a continuation of this trend. So I think we're still in limbo, everything's in limbo based on the um, trade war discussions. And if I look at the things that are going to affect us, the Rand dollar, 13.84, slightly down. And where is 10 cent? 10 cent is up 0.8% at the moment. So. US markets didn't really move much yesterday, uh, ever so slightly up. So I suspect we're going to find some kind of uh, resistance somewhere in this area, which is why I'm a little bit reluctant to look for longs at the moment. So I'd like to look for longs, but I think I'd rather wait for a, a decent pullback before I get in on this. Okay, so let's just have a look at what are we defining as a decent pullback. So this inside tail would be a decent pullback, so that would be a nice area for a long. And the other one would be this inside tail here. Okay, you can see this was a flat top triangle that we've broken through. So I'd like to see a pullback to 47446 or alternatively uh, 47244. Um, and that is the area I'd look for additional longs. Okay, so that's kind of my view on this at the moment. Trend is up, looking for a pullback before I get in on this. Okay. Just be careful, keep those stops tight because um, the high time frames, oscillators are grouped to the upside and it is giving us the indication that it is tired. And we are coming up to um, quite a big level and then obviously there's a gap close as well, which is a, would be a fairly significant level as well. Okay, so, so yeah, um, I think that's, that's it for me. If we do get up to this gap close, I would take a short and that short would be a scalp. So a short scalp to the downside and then uh, hopefully get this gap closed at least before getting another long. But that's uh, that's kind of my status for now. Uh, if we do get a gap up and it really is not going to chase that, uh, might just take the, the short scalp down uh, with a very tight stop loss and see where we get to. And it could also just get back to this trend line and then start using this trend line as support as well and then start rallying more. So. Uh, trend is up at the moment on the lower time frame, so that's kind of what we want to play. Okay, there we go. That's it for me today. I uh, hope it helps, and uh, enjoy your day, enjoy your weekend, and I'll catch you next week. Cheers for now.